when I when I refer to Christendom in this book, uh, I'm I'm really referring to that that very long period of time. It's hard to know exactly when you want to date it. You know, at, at the towards the end of the patristic era and the very early Middle Ages, when Christianity, uh, in a sense, became the official religion, initially of the Roman Empire and then through uh, most of Europe. Mm -hmm. And you had really uh, uh, from that time until sometime in the modern era, it's hard to know exactly where to put the end of it, but for, I mean, over a thousand years, well over a thousand years in a great deal of, of Europe, um, entire societies, entire political communities were considered Christian and uh, all the institutions within them were professedly Christian. Uh, there were obviously, there was separation. There, there were distinctions between church and state and other kinds of social institutions, but they were very integrated. Uh, the church was constantly struggling with the political power for influence and for jurisdiction uh, uh, over matters. Um, I mean, Christendom looked different in different places, certainly in places where the Reformation was strong. It, it certainly looked different from places where Roman Catholicism remained predominant. But there's a sense in that uh, even after the Reformation for a couple of, for maybe even several centuries, there's still this idea that we're all Christians, right? We're all members of the church. And it's just a member of, uh, it, it's just a matter of what exactly that looks like. Mm -hmm. And then the, the death of Christendom really uh, over the last couple hundred years is when, you know, now um, you don't have to be a Christian in order to, to live in these societies. Um, it's not a given uh, that the church and the state are going to be integrated mm -hmm. um, with each other now. Um, it's not just that... Um, freedom of religion is a is a fact but even churches have embraced that as something which is which is good so when i re refer to christendom i'm i'm thinking about that long experiment experiment from the early middle ages to the modern era and i'm asking what about politics after christendom uh, what does it look like as we live now in places that surely are not christendom and anymore in which we as christians are feeling more and more like a minority we're feeling more and more isolated uh, what we value is seems to be more and more out of touch with the predominant values of our society